Hello everyone! Well, are you a big fan of Halloween? It's really hard. This pumpkin is quite big. I think it's about 5 kg or something. Hmm. Trick or treating. Crisp autumn air. Funky costumes and pumpkin carving. It's definitely not one of my favorite festivals, but I do join and enjoy with you in all the festivity. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you today how I'm gonna carve my pumpkin this year for Halloween. So, first of all, what I usually do is I take a pen, a marker pen, and I mark how I want to have the design. And then I also have two different sizes of uh, knife and I also have two different sizes of spoons for scooping out the stuff that is inside the pumpkin. So first of all, you can choose a design that you want to. It's up to you. There are lots of inspirations on the web. You can go on um, Google and search pumpkin carving and then there are lots of pictures. So what you just do that you should have the picture in your mind and if you prefer to draw it on a piece of paper that's one way of doing it i don't need to do that i directly draw it on the pumpkin and start carving so for me it's not a big deal it's pretty easy peasy job i don't take much time to do it in any way so let's see how we do today so first of all what i have in mind that i as you can see there is a little bit of mark here on the pumpkin that I got this time. Um, I looked a lot, but you know, this is the best I could get. So the rest of the pumpkin looks really perfect, plump and you know, nicely round. So um, I would like to draw it in this side, which is almost perfect. So first of all, I draw it. I'm sorry, I won't be able to show you on the camera facing that side, but once I'm done, I will show it to you. So I wanted to have heart-shaped eyes for my pumpkin this year. So let's get started. First of all, what we have to make sure that if you have a scale, I think it's better. But I think what's important to have the measurement that you know you should, your eyes and nose and mouth should be proportionate. So you have to draw accordingly. So many people would prefer to use a scale to have the measurement correct. But I would just go with my guesswork, you know, that's what I would prefer. I'm not a great, uh, you know, I, I can't draw very well, but on pumpkin, I'm just, just about okay. So let's see how it goes, okay? And the best part about pumpkin is you can draw as many times as you want. So even if you make a mistake, just make sure you rub it off and you, you draw again to get it almost perfect. Nothing is perfect, but you know what I mean. So that's my eyes are done almost. I don't know whether you can see, I've drawn the eyes already and now I am gonna draw the nose. I think it's a pretty small nose for the size of the pumpkin we have here. So I'm gonna extend the nose and I prefer to do it this way rather than keeping it so. I think I'm pretty much happy with the size of the nose now and then now I need to make the mouth so the mouth should be it should be as big to cover both your eyes it should be in the center of the two eyes that you are going to draw if you are interested to read my last year's Halloween pumpkin carving post um, I didn't make a video then, but I have a post on the blog to show you step by step how you can carve a pumpkin. So if you're interested in reading and understanding the steps uh, clearly, so I would recommend you just read the post which I will link here below. But now I think I am okay. Once you have drawn 
the pumpkin here then what you can do is then just mark here then you just uh, draw here you have to remove the head of the pumpkin for you to scoop out the stuff inside you will lit it up with some tea light candle on the Halloween night so this is what you need to do you just have to draw around the head inside and then you just have to carve along so that you can remove the stuff that's inside all right see great so now we are done here both ways carve this section first so let's start just start carving along the lines that you have drawn already try to stick to the lines as you can see one heart is already carved yeah not bad so this is pretty big ah okay it's done now we will remove everything once we cut the head so it will be easier for us to do it then so now let's get the other eyes done rest time yare yare da ze 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 and by the way, I just wanted to let you know that I've also got some smaller pumpkin. I love them. They look so cute. And I actually wanted to do something interesting with them. So what I've done, the when I looked for a white pumpkin, the smaller one, um, I didn't find it in my nearest supermarket. And I didn't have the time to go to a farmer's market to get it. I know you get it there. What I just did is I found some alternative a white squash of those small sizes and I thought I'll just you know get my work done with those for the time being so so I have actually um, color sprayed them just to make it look a little different so and interesting and fun so you will see that in the video so I hope you like that too you can use any color spray of your choice I had the golden one at home so I used that one but um, given a choice I would have probably preferred uh, copper or or black also why not just mix golden and black or copper and golden together and it will look really nice if you have a big pumpkin like that white one I think the color sets better in the white yeah that's what I think alrighty so the mouth and the eyes and the nose are carved now. I am gonna just uh, carve the head and then scoop the whole thing out. And then you can see the entire shape coming into light. As I've told you before, I am only carving along the line. It's not random. It's better if you have it drawn beforehand. So I am going to use the bigger knife now and then carve it. If you have a pumpkin carver, I think it, it will make your life easier. But because I don't have it, I will manage with this for the time being. Are you ready? Because it's a big pumpkin, you will see this is coming off. Yay! So what we are going to do, we are not going to throw this cut away. We will clean this up. So for the time being, I'll just keep it here in my bowl. And I will take the big, scoop it out about all the things there will be lots of dirt and all these things coming off so just best to keep it here yes! oh my God! I wanted to show you now my pumpkin is 
totally clean inside and now I'm gonna remove the eyes that I've already carved so let's get started be very careful with your fingers yeah I think it's good to go yeah so we do have to clean that side later inside again that's what we need to do just to give it a neat look and now what you can do just really pinpoint and just see how neat you can make it so that the shapes is seen through properly especially when you lit up at night so yeah this is very important it's as important as carving the pumpkin to the perfection and if you, you clean out the mess inside and just make your pumpkin look neat and clean so that the shape comes through it's not about just drawing it perfectly and carving it perfectly it's also about making these shapes visible and that's only possible when you just clean them properly carving alone is not enough so this is also an integral part of it all i need to do is just put the cap on and just just clean the outside a bit la 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 make it in it neat and clean So, what do you think? Ta -da 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 -da. So, all you need for this project are some little pumpkins. I haven't managed to get hold of a white pumpkin, so I got some white squash and I have to manage with that. And you need tape and you also need some metallic spray uh, in the color of your choice. So, let's get started. 